Hi, uh, welcome to uh, Bharat Times. Uh, Mrs. Mehta, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How was your trip to Montreal? It was wonderful. I lo always love coming to Montreal from Toronto. Oh, you nice. can feel you're coming to a different country. Yeah, it's that's really true. nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I uh, just saw the um, uh, Biba Boys this morning. Well done movie. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. And so it's, uh, you know, it seems like it's well representative of the uh, second and third uh, Indo-Canadian um, gangs, especially the Sikh gangs in Vancouver area, indulging in warfare and drug trade. I admire you for being the pioneer in addressing these current issues, pressing issues also. And what exactly moved you in this direction to make this kind of movie, like, from the uh, cultural taboos and stuff from before? It's not about cultural taboos, Monica. You know, mm -hmm. it really, uh, the reason I wanted to, the gangs are everywhere. Uh, they know, are. In Vancouver, they're the Chinese gangs, they're the English gangs, they're the Japanese gangs, the Mexican mm -hmm. gangs. And also they're the Indo-Canadian gangs. They're not all Sikh gangs. Mm -hmm. Many of them are Hindus also. Right. Uh, but so it seems like every section of every community has a bad side to it. And, but I was really surprised being of the community myself, because I'm a Punjabi, that uh, uh, I'm an Indian, and, uh, and I was very surprised that this section of our community nobody knows about. Mm -hmm. And I feel that it's a real problem, because there's so many deaths, there's so many mothers who are grieving, so many children that have been orphaned, and yet, you know, like all immigrants, we don't want to talk about something that's negative. Mm -hmm. We always want to be perceived as if we are perfect. Yes. And I can understand that. In a white dominant society, you don't want to create any waves. You want to mm -hmm. be always seen as, uh, as, as, a, as a group that's contributing to society. Mm -hmm. But you know, there are aspects. This is a section of our society. Mm -hmm. And we owe it to our own community to do something about it. And, and the larger community mm -hmm. owes it to us also to we all should work together because we're all Canadians. Yes. You know, that's what's well, very important. Definitely. Yes. And, um, you know, somewhere along the lines, I figured it's implied that these gangs grew out of members' ways of um, joining the mainstream culture. Um, mm -hmm. Are you trying to suggest maybe mainstream Canadian culture is all about gang and war, or how do you no, perceive no, not that? not at all. I, okay. I, it's, I, I feel that I didn't want to do that mm -hmm. at, at all. It's not... I think that the gangs grow out of many reasons. Okay. Uh, it's, it comes out of, uh, you know, wanting fast and quick money. You yes. Know, this is not, this is, you know, really very few people uh, want to spend their lives doing their PhD or learning to be a doctor. But there's some who don't, you know. Right. But for every, it's interesting, for every Indo-Canadian gang member, there are three that are Indo-Canadian um, policemen or belong to the RCMP. So, uh, so gangs go out of wanting, uh, wanting quick money. They want mm -hmm. to. They go out of wanting assimilation. Yes. They want respect. Right. I think a lot of the what it's about in, in this film is about the Indo Canadians wanting respect, respect and recognition so, as yeah, well for yeah, who they are. Uh, yeah. 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 And that's it's good to uh, point this out. In the making of this movie, uh, did you have to rely on uh, support of the uh, Sikh community because there were a lot of Sikh temples were shown and stuff? How did you find that? Were people like um, no, it, they were supportive? Not, uh, yes, they were very supportive. Yeah. I mean, okay. they, you read the you know we shot in the Gurdwara and, and uh, 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 the, the head Granthi or the you know person who's <laughs> the head of the, of the Gurdwara read the whole script, knew oh, what nice. it was all about, and and gave permission. Okay. Oh. Um, the Bebo Boys takes a peek into the world of women related to these gang members. Mm. It shows the bonding and the dilemmas both. Can you comment on that? No, I think as a, as a woman it was very interesting and very important for me, let's mm -hmm. say. Not interesting, but very important that we see, you know, in, in usual gang films, they, they, there's not much of women at all. No. They just come and they go, you know, they're only there for, a, for like five seconds. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, I'm because it's set in a community that that's my community. Mm -hmm. I know how important mothers are, and relationships are, and mm -hmm. daughters are. And so for me, it was really wanted to show that that these are women who are strong mm -hmm. women who are aware aware, aware mm -hmm. of what their sons are doing and do not approve of it. Right. That was very important. Okay. Um, and amongst all the movies you've done so far, Heaven on Earth touched me the most mm -hmm. for the same reason as this one the beaver boys that no one had dared explore that area before mm -hmm. and I have witnessed many families in that situation personally 
you know, all across Canada, I would say. Indo-Canadians in general, they find the movies you make a bit controversial. Can you comment on that? You know, I, I don't know. I, I don't like the word controversy. I okay. Think, you know, it's, I think that, that you know, there are, there are many kind of films. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't, no community wants to see an aspect of themselves in a negative light. We, we right. spend so much of our time. And that's not just Indian community, any community. Right, but it all lingers there but just the same. Yeah, but the point is it doesn't go away. Exactly. If you yeah. don't talk about it, it doesn't go away. away. But exactly. if you talk about it, because heaven on earth, you know, I got a lot of flack from the community saying, why are you showing, <laughs> okay. washing your dirty laundry? In the, in, but a lot of women uh -huh. really appreciated it. And now, I did also. You know, and women, and not all women have been through domestic violence, but because they know that it happens. It happens, yes. And so it creates an awareness, and especially for the young people. The film is taught in universities across Canada. It is shown in shelters. So it, it really has, women realize that they are not alone. It's nothing, one of the real problems about domestic violence is that women feel that it's their fault mm -hmm. that they get beaten up. So the film shows that it's really not their fault. They are not to blame. So, you know, not that has helped a lot of women. Mm -hmm. So I think that in that same way, I mean, I think Beaver Boys is a is hugely entertaining. It it's, is. It, you know, it's got uh, it's got you know real Lots energy. Lots of action and, and thriller. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But finally, it's about crime doesn't pay. No. You know, that's what you okay. know. So I, I hope that you know people kids who see it you will mm -hmm. understand that mm -hmm. that this is you know it might look fascinating and glamorous to be a gangster and it is right but it doesn't end well if you're dead no yeah. and it, it does not end well in itself either yeah. so yeah. it's okay no, I would say a very well done job would you uh, like to send a message to the community regarding this I meeting? think uh, I mean I would love the community to come and see the film I would invite them to come and see it because it breaks many stereotypes. It does. And that's very important. And also, I think it's very important that we talk about it. Yes. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.